My name's Eve K. Welcome to the channel and say, uh, we're going to be reacting to this trailer from Nintendo Direct. <coughs> He's obviously looking at the fact that Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games coming to uh, Switch Online and Switch Online Plus expansion pack. I'm going to give my thoughts on the games they show and my thoughts about this in general. So let's get let's begin. So Switch, uh, yep, Game Boy. I like when they do these little um, these little like animations with the uh, consoles. Yes. Okay. We all. That's what we want. We want Game Boy games for ages. So we've got Zelda, Mario. Yep. Tetris. That's like legendary, man. So we get, oh, we're getting original Game Boy Tetris. Okay. We're getting Super Mario Two. Got. I, I own this game as well. I own this game uh, physically, which is really weird. Um. Legends of the Link's Awakening DX isn't this wasn't this remade for the Switch? Like I'm pretty sure this was remade for the Switch. But a hey, Zelda, who doesn't love Zelda? Gargoyle's Quest. Okay, this is from this is a spin off of Ghouls and Go uh, Ghosts and Goblins. I'm not really a fan of those games, but okay, this is interesting to see this game include. Okay, and what's category three? Okay. This is uh, weird to include the third one. I kind of hope they would have given us the first two because I actually own the first two on a Game Boy, but okay. And then Dark New Nightmare. Never knew this game existed. But it's a Game Boy Color game. So they will give, we'll give them credit there. Metroid 2 Return of Samus. Okay. Good. We need more. We need to all do a Metroid game. It's good. Warrior Land 3. Warrior Land, <coughs> weirdly enough, the first Warrior Land game, from what I know, was on the Virtual Boy. Uh, I wonder if we'd ever see the Virtual Boy games on Switch. I doubt we would, but it'd be interesting if Nintendo ever did decide to release those games on Switch. Kirby's Dreamland. Wait, de debut title? Debut. I thought Kirby debuted on the on the NES. Could be wrong, but I I always assume Kirby was an NES game first. Yep. Okay, yeah, there's nice little um things. Two players can play games together. Oh, let's see. you've got Zelda Oracle Seasons, Zelda Oracle, Oracle, Oracle Ages, Pokemon Trading Card Game. Okay, what well, some my little criticism of this one doesn't seem to be any po any actual Pokemon games. Obviously, getting a Pokemon card trading card game apparently, but yeah, Kirby Tilt and Tumble. Is there more? Oh, Game Boy Advance. Yep, the Game Boy Advance is the better system in my opinion. It's the best Game Boy system that they made. So, okay, yeah. So the expansion packs get these games. So we get Super Mario Advance, um, Super Mario Advance Four, Super Mario Three. So this is weird because there's four Super Mario Advance games, and we're only getting the fourth game up to, begin, to begin with, which is a little bit weird to me. I don't understand why the first three are, but okay. Okay, and this is the 38 extra levels from the reader. Warrior Inc. Mega Micro Games never played this, but okay, brilliant. Kuku Kurin. I've never heard of this game. Japanese game. I'm told it's a Japanese game, but okay. This uh this one looks alright. It looks kinda of fun. Kinda of little minus game. I wouldn't I wouldn't have bought this back on the Game Boy, but it looks fun. Mario Kart Super Circuit. So this is the third Mario Kart game on Switch Online if you discount the DLCs for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Super Mario well, Mario and Luigi Super Circuit. This is like the best Mario and Luigi game. It's great this is here, you know. They just had a minching cap. Okay, this is... This game looks pretty fun. This game looks pretty good. That's it. That's the lineup for Game Boy Advance. And, you know... Okay, so Metroid, Fusion, Kirby, The Amazing Mirror... Fire Emblem, F-Zero, Maximum Velocity. 
Golden Sun? Golden Sun? Okay. Okay, and these are these are obviously available now to play. Um Personally for my opinion, guys, that lineup's okay to me. It's not the best and it's not the worst. You know, personally I think they've done they did better with the Game Boy lineup than the Game Boy Advance. Uh surely we'll see more games from these systems added every month, hopefully. Because let's be fair, the Switch Online lineup currently it's got some decent games. But the problem it has is the lack of constantly new games, and they, we need a constant flow of new content in order to keep people engaged and people pay paying for the service and playing the service. Because I'll be honest, the games they've got now they look kind of interesting. You know, they look kind of cool. The fact that we now have obviously, if you have, if you have just a Switch Online, you get Game Boy, NES, and Super Nintendo. And if you have Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack, you obviously get those three plus N sixty four Game Boy Game Boy Advance and Sega Mega Drive. I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. Now, whether you subscribe, yeah, we reopen my subscription for a year to see what games they get on Switch. And yeah, let's hope that they keep coming out with the new, with more and more games. Hopefully, we get some more of the more of the obscure stuff. Like I know there's like a, I think it's like a hamster game that was made by Shigeru Miyamoto that was made for the Game Boy. Uh, hopefully, that game gets added soon. Obviously, more Zero stuff. Uh, hopefully, we do see some actual Pokemon games. I'm not sure what the legality behind that is because. Um, Obviously, the Pokemon company is joint owned with Nintendo and three other companies. So, we don't know how long that will take for that to happen, but hopefully we'll see Pokemon games in the future. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on this lineup? What are your thoughts on Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games in general coming to the Switch? You know, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I've been Eve Kid, and I'm signing out. Peace.